Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll try to work on linear workflow and colors and the lighting and finally render in high quality definition out. Okay, good. First thing, we need to create a basic background. So in top view, I'll create a plane and I'll go to the edge, select this edge extrude, move it up, add some revisions, press G for repeat and next. Now zoom in close. Right. Now select this object, delete the history, freeze the transformations and I'll change the name as DG. Right. Now apply one normal blend material which is in process pg underscore matte and pure white and i don't want any reflection so i just remove the reflection okay i'll get back here render this is what you get okay now we got to do some few change first thing create lights a spotlight and once the spotlight is created go to panels look through selector zoom in adjust it and position your object like that. and one more thing is go to perspective with the light still selected, scroll down, penumbra angle, Q sub penumbra angle, and some softness, and some drop. And go back to render settings. See that you are in metal ray, and quality, change it to legacy sampling mode. Two. Indirect lighting, switch on final blender and increase one bounce. Okay, now I'll store this image, delete this one, and then render. this image you can see the crown plane I this one. need to move a little bit up can you see here a little bit up so we won't see the gap between the objects the next one is a uh, select the light go to palm liner select this spotlight by default our DK rate is no DK in reality, that is wrong. The light should die. It should diminish. Sorry. Generally, we'll work in quadratic, but for this tutorial, we'll work on linear. We change it to linear. And here, intensity, you have to increase a little bit less. Step. We'll go for 25 for the time being. And in options, I just change it to. 50% because I don't want to waste my time rendering and all stuff. Okay. This is what I got. I'll increase it to 50. Render it. Generally, we want to work on three point lighting, but we we'll use two lights on this, for this one. So, create one more light, a spotlight, look through selector. This time, see that object from the different angles. 
the opposite angle linear changes to tan and go back to perspective perspective scroll down to shadows and turn off the ray pressure when you switch on mental ray it will automatically switch on your shadow okay now let's render You got this result. Now the next step is I don't want this secondary light to influence on the background. So select this light, shift the background, click on here, go to rendering, lighting and shading, break light links. So I broke the links, now come back here store this image and render it right we got this one okay now we'll start working on leaning workflow how to do it that's one thing before that go to google Type HDR images black and white. Go to images, choose any one decent. It's generally, I prefer this one, this looks good, or this one. Okay, download it because RAW, once you download it, go to render settings. In indirect lighting, click on image based lighting. Click here. So, when you click here, you should get this option box. Okay, if you don't get it, click on this icon, it will go there. Now, image, click here. Where now? I did download this one. I love this one. You can download this one where else. Okay. Now, it's done. As of, I'll minimize it and render it. Store this image and try to compare with the one suddenly when you add an image based lighting and final gather you can see the difference okay that's good now the next step important step come back to the comma switch on enable color management okay and see the default input profile is linear srgb output profile linear srgb I, I always tell that i'll explain you later what something else i don't want to take your time we'll see the results one day i'll try to make a tutorial only on explaining all these things okay generally we enjoy seeing the results once we enjoy the results then we'll put more efforts to learn it that why so we switch on both the next one is go to quality if you scroll down in frame buffer go to rgb float 32 bit okay that's it. here you can close it the next step is go to display in the render view color management if you check here we change it to linear RGB. so here the input is linear and output is SRG. Got it? Linear, linear, here linear and SRGB. Close it, random. Right? 
it should be something like this it looks okay but the colors are totally washed out can you see it's washed out it looks good but it's washed out so the next step important step is select this one go to pops map that's red color click on this checker box click on Maya and in search type gamma it's just a GAM gamma card and change the black color to red and gamma value to 0.454 okay I'll do the same thing for hello select this one hello and just store it I can click here so that it is store here gamma hello 0.454 now let's render it You should get the result now the next step is that the eyes and the teeth down also. so i'll zoom in here teeth are white you can leave it for the tongue click here leave it so that you can get that texture color here and the punch this is done. I'll maximize this one, or else I go back here to the eyeball. Brown, click here, leave it. Gamma, brown, go fine. I'll select this one. Black, we don't need white, we don't need only the brown color. Bit. And this black, this is not black. This is gray. So if you are, if you are using white or black, you don't need to change it. But if it's some other colors, but when it try to work, okay, I'm right. Now I think I did almost everything. I'll change this resolution a bit bigger. perfect that looks perfect for me what I will just zoom in select this light if you check this light I want something so I can go back here increase 490 to some 60 so you can have wider area the next one is The next step is what is the next step? Okay, we should select this color. Mouth inside, we didn't change this one. So, show this one. Gamma. Mouth inside color. They should be 4545. Okay, 454. Now, I'll, with the light selected, I'll try to decrease the intensity to some 40. Okay. Right.
back with this one. Now you must be thinking that the reflections are perfectly sharp on these things. Uh, I can work on it, or we can work on it. Just select this. Okay, go to poly red material. Scroll down. You've got one thing called mental ray. Okay, in mental ray, in the texture, you've got reflection blur. Increase it to two. Right, and you must be thinking that RAM, the eyeball shader, I can't feel it. Whereas the images which you got on your main screen, it looks amazing. I just duplicated one copy of the same section to show that there's nothing different. I think I just kill and render. We did the mental red, the motion blur only on the red color because we want the reflection to be a little bit blurred on the red metallic texture, not on the eyeball. You see the high one, it's perfect. Yeah. So that's perfect. I'll just delete this image. Now I'm happy with the textures, I'm happy with everything. Now we need to render and composite the ambient occlusion. That's the next step which I will show you now. Because this is good, but we should make it the best. So the option right now is that I deleted the icon perfect. Now I'll one condition is here. Come back because we are not rendering a sequential of files, we are not taking into after effects, and we are going to put Photoshop. Let's change it to SRGB back. Generally, if you are taking to after effects, go for linear SRGB. But change it to SRGB and in here. Color management change back to SRG. Okay, now render it. That's perfect. I'll go and say file, save this image. I'll save this this image. I say shape it, and I'll save this. Oops. The next step is that come back here in that tracking. Once everything is done, come back here. I'll delete my image base slider. Okay, this is this process for only for a still image action. The next tutorials where we do start doing the rigging and all the stuff, I'll show you how to override all this stuff. Okay, this is only for the single image. So I just deleted the image base lighting, close it. The next step is. Go to add channel editor, render, in on master layer, select right click, select objects in the layer and create one new layer. So double click on it, I'll put layer and in the collision. And the next thing is that select the background plane, 
right click on AO and set remove selected. Remove selected. So right now we got only this box. Okay. Now the next step is right click attributes on AO layer. You should get this AO layer presets change it to occlusion go to MIB ambient occlusion changes to 64 and maximum distance go for 2 you can work on it but right now for me 2 works good and render it should be a something like this. Now file, save image, I'll save as pops, underscore, a o. Now close it, minimize, go to Photoshop, open the two files. Okay. Now, drag pops a o on top of the pops main color image close it snap it and change the layer mode to multiply so you can see the shadows here can you see the difference now here now I'll save this as Mr. Fox Final JPEG Save it. Okay, and close it last. Yes. You should get something like this. Okay, that's good. So hope you enjoyed this lesson. In this lesson, you know how to work on creating the basic background, working on some basic lights, working on the shadows, as well as converting the files into a linear workflow, applying the image-based lighting, rendering, and then blending ambient occlusion, taking it into Photoshop, and converting as a final image thank you in the next tutorial i will show you how to rig it with the basic like like expressions and all this stuff okay thank you and see you soon bye